got a very interesting email a few months back and uh, I'd like to share a little bit about it. Hey everybody, this is uh, Tom with Tom's Tech Show and I do, uh, I've kind of gotten away from it a little bit and I should do more uh, things about photography and things I like about photography. Um, I do take a lot of pictures with my you know, iPhone, um, definitely a step up from uh, this old uh, LG, I think it's a Think 7 or Think 8 or something phone that now I just use for, you know, so I have an Android reference when I'm doing things. Um, Kind of stuff but um so i had taken pictures and i hadn't even been to the uh my pinterest page in in a long time i mean i'm sure most of these are are extremely old uh pictures most of disneyland i have many pictures of most of my pictures now would be of disney world um well there's a disney world one and there is, i go say i don't not any and that's a disney world one okay and that's a disney world one okay we were at disney world before from time to time there's a picture of my macaw who passed away several years ago it was just a wonderful bird to be around uh made a lot of noise oh my gosh so loud at times would compete with the vacuum for how loud it could get but um it's a company called thames and hudson uh emailed me and said uh i work at thames and hudson and recently found your pinterest page uh, while researching images for an upcoming publication called Underworlds. So um, they want to include my Disney uh, Monstro picture, which would be this one right here. They found this photograph and uh, thought that that would be really good. I mean, Monstro is definitely kind of an Underworld type uh, photograph. So I was able to go back and uh, find my original because these are all very scaled down uh, find my original uh, Kind of recreate the edits to be similar maybe a little bit better uh, Editing you know than that since it was going to be in a publication on someone's desktop on someone's tabletop Which is you know a huge honor uh, to be able to have that um, So I did that got that and then was able to file transfer that over to them to put into the uh, book that they're creating. Um, it does, I did, we did exchange, you know, fair use documents and, and all of that. And I did make sure to, I'm sure they already knew this, but this is a photograph at Disneyland. So you need to also get Disney's uh, permission uh, to reproduce that and sell a book with that. And they have other books and other things that uh, do kind of the same thing. Um, if you go to the Thames and Hudson website, I don't know if it's really quite up there yet. There is a page that shows uh, that it is coming out uh, on, uh, I think it's October 24th of this year. Um, it's by this guy, Stephen Elcock. He has collected 600,000 images from Instagram, Facebook, and other things. Um, and he has other books that were published in uh, many different countries. So... So again, it's an honor to be included. Um, should be, I mean, the uh, pages will have the images and then some excerpt and some comments, it looks like, from the uh, the author, the guy who's putting all this together. So um, it should be pretty cool. I mean, I'm gonna definitely have to purchase one uh, when it comes out on October 24th, there's going to be 300 illustrations, of which mine is one. So they did confirm with me that uh, my image will be in this publication. Um, you can also get it on Amazon for the same uh, $35, um, but I will probably end up ordering it directly from Thames and Hudson. Uh, they have a quite a, a bunch of other different tabletop books of, of all kinds. Um, on their website so very interesting things human past ancient north america archaeology you know just a very smattering of different types of uh, books so but uh yeah it was very very nice they're very nice people to interact with and 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 get all this stuff set up but i was just very very nice to have something you know published uh, you know of my own that you know you don't you didn't expect right to be uh, have anything published, you know, 
uh, just being a hobbyist and, and putting things out there. So that's, that's going to be pretty cool. So once I get the book, then I'll probably go through it, see what images are in there, and maybe highlight a few and my own. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. Take care.